Hello, I'm Mike, the Pokemon Biologist, and today we're going to be discussing what the heck is Caterpie? Of course, Caterpie is a caterpillar, but we need to take a refresher course back to kindergarten biology to find out what exactly are caterpillars. To start off, butterflies, which are the adult versions of caterpillars, have way different life cycles than other animals do. For example, mammals like us and dogs produce offspring that are just little versions of us. Butterflies, on the other hand, start their lives as larvae, which are the caterpillars, and they look and act completely different from the adult butterflies. If you didn't know what caterpillars were about to do, you'd be forgiven for not knowing that butterflies are just adult caterpillars. When it's time for the caterpillar to turn into a butterfly, it goes and finds a safe place to hang out for a while. Literally. Now most people at this point think that the caterpillar spins some sort of silk as a form of protection. Now, that's not exactly what happens here, because what's actually happening is way creepier. Rather than making a shell, the caterpillar actually changes the texture of its skin, transforming it from a soft, gooey caterpillar to a hard, tough pupa. This middle stage between the caterpillar and the butterfly is what Caterpie's evolution Metapod is based off of. This is where this process goes from cute and innocent to downright horrifying. During the pupa stage, the soon-to-be butterfly literally liquefies itself. It actually begins to break down all the cells that used to be the caterpillar until it becomes just a mass of proteins and undifferentiated cells. The next step is for the pupa to turn this caterpillar smoothie into a beautiful butterfly. This transformation is called metamorphosis. What emerges from that pupa 10 to 14 days later is what we call the butterfly. The beauty of this process is that since caterpillars and butterflies don't eat the same food, they're not competing with each other for precious resources. Now that's all fine and dandy, but we still haven't answered the question that's in this video's title. What kind of caterpillar is Caterpie? With over 20,000 species of butterflies, each with their own caterpillar, it would take forever to narrow it down to just one Caterpie. Especially since most caterpillars are green because green is a really good camouflage. Luckily, there's one big key that will help us narrow down our caterpillar count. That's right, the red horn-like structure on Caterpie's head is what's called an osmeterium. And it's actually specific to only one group of caterpillars. In real life, the osmeterium is used as a defense mechanism when it gets threatened. As it turns out, only one group of butterflies have caterpillars that have osmeterium. This group is called Papillonidae, also known as the swallowtail butterflies. This helped us narrow down the search for the real life caterpie dramatically, yet there's still over 500 species in that group. So we're gonna have to start looking for caterpillars that have green bodies, red osmeterium, and preferably a big bulbous head like caterpies. And I think I found just the one. The one species of caterpillar that fits all of these requirements is the Asian swallowtail. Asian swallowtails, as you can imagine, are found all over Asia. And specifically, they're found in Japan, which is where Pokemon was originally created. From this picture, this caterpillar looks remarkably similar to Caterpie. But looks aren't everything. If this were real life, we'd want to take DNA samples of the caterpillar and Caterpie. But unfortunately, Pokemon aren't real. But a guy can dream. What really confirms that Caterpie is an Asian swallowtail is its evolutions. Take a look at its pupa, and here's the adult. I hope you learned a lot today about caterpillars, butterflies, and metamorphosis. And as always, gotta learn them all.